Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Over the last week, there's been a lot of discussion in this House on carbon pricing, and in essence, the whole debate boils down to just how much the Premier and this government is willing to invest in fighting climate change. And the bad news for islanders and for our island is that the answer to that question is nowhere near enough. This government says that islanders must have a choice. They can either have full carbon rebates put directly in their wallets in the amounts of hundreds of dollars, or they can have robust climate programs, but they cannot have both. The official opposition says that the climate crisis demands that we do both, and if government refuses to do both, then climate change is clearly not a priority for them. This government has no problem spending an extra $17 million on paving a couple of years ago, and yet it balks the moment that we suggest that islanders should get hundreds of dollars more back in rebates while still funding green programs that we support, things like EV incentives and, pump and heat pump programs. So what's really going on here, Mr. Speaker? I fear that it comes down to a government that is firstly woefully out of touch with the economic reality of most islanders and equally indifferent to the threat facing our planet. Perhaps most shocking, Mr. Speaker, was when the Minister of Finance, who is of course tasked with managing public funds, islanders, money, questioned what use $800 in carbon rebates would be to an islander making minimum wage. Well, let me spell it out. It would help pay rent, it would buy groceries, it would make car payments, it would pay for transit passes, it would allow islanders to choose for themselves how best they spend their money, what they need to do with it to get by, and how they can best reduce their carbon footprint. We're in the middle of a climate emergency and a severe economic crisis, yet we have a Minister of Environment who does not believe in carbon pricing, and we have a Minister of Finance who doesn't believe that islanders could use an $800 check. And I think we have islanders who increasingly believe that this government is not capable of doing its job. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.